First media session of your Nerd Anchor. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so how's it been so far? What's the adjustment been like? Adjustment, uh, it's been a you know fast pace, you know, mm -hmm. just trying to get the hang of it. When they uh, got your got their hands on you, strength and conditioning coach Paul Longo, what was that like? Uh, it was nice because uh, he got me faster and stronger. I lost a couple pounds, which I really needed. So, yeah. did you feel like you needed to get in there right away and, and trim down a little bit? Was that something the coaches talked to you about? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I thought I need to trim down myself because you know, man recruited. I kind of gained a couple pounds after <laughs> signing day, so. What is your goal, personally, for a weight right now? My personal goal, you know, just lose as much as I can, mm -hmm. you know, until I feel like I'm comfortable, you know, physically. Okay. Coach um, Elson said the place that you were getting in, you were doing a good job. Do you feel like you've had a good camp so far? Uh, as far as I know, uh, when we watch film, yeah, I, I, I think I do an okay job. You know, I take advantage of all my reps I get, you know. I try to do the best I can. What's the biggest difference for you coming from high school to here? Uh, knowing that the guys aren't 5'8", <laughs> you know, and I can just push them. So. You haven't been able to push anybody yet? Uh, I've been able to push, you know, a little, just a little bit, but not just do anything I want, you know? Mm -hmm. Going through the, back through the recruiting process a little bit, it was kind of back and forth between Notre Dame and Miami. When did you know that Notre Dame was a spot for you? Uh, I didn't know too much because, you know, there were two great schools and, uh, you know, uh, growing up, you know, Miami was my favorite school, you know, it was a place to be at, you know, uh, my best friend, almost Tavadis Glenn was going there, so I just thought maybe, you know, then I took a visit here, you know, met all the guys, the coaches, you know, and I just thought, you know, maybe know the day in the place, it was just a hard decision I had to make. Has it been just about what you expected since you got here? Uh, just a little bit, you know. Uh, I didn't expect the count to be so, you know, fast paced, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a chest Let's talk about having a guy like Ian Williams ahead of you and what you've been able to learn from him so far. Uh, you know, Ian Williams, he a beast. You know, I'm trying to be better than him, actually. You know, he's a great player, and I'm just trying to be better than him. But right now, he's dominant, and, you know, and he's doing his thing. And, you know, I'm looking up to him right now like a big brother. Are you kind of just watching everything that he does right now? Just yeah, that's all I can do, you know. Mm -hmm. Just watch him, you know, get some tips from him, learn his moves, you know, possibly, you know, be like him. Was there a moment in camp where, or maybe in the summer conditioning where you had kind of like a welcome to the college moment where, like, you know, either you got pushed back, you got hit, or you made it happen or something like that? Uh, during practice or just overall? Yeah, just overall. Overall, uh... The amount of classwork I get every day, that uh, really hit me. You know, having homework every day, that was kind of, you know, nice.